Wonderful. Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. We are updating the scorecard. We've only got seven members plus a custom aid, so eight total. We are very small right now. Uh, trying to fill up class RCF 004, and then that will close on June 30th or at midnight, June 30th, Eastern time. And we'll open up class RCF 005. Um, we are making a transition. Um, wrong word. We are starting to put more of a focus on enrollment um, as well as still uh, feeding every uh, active member in here with with the sales leads that were promised. Um, but we are working to grow membership and start um, adding more market areas to our to our whole system. So if, I mean, you guys probably don't know of any cleaning companies outside of your area, really. Um, you're gonna have a lot of connections with those who are locally, so it really doesn't help. But if you know of a cleaning company anywhere else in the country, that within a 30 mile radius of their office, there's at least at least 100,000 people. Let them know about the RCF, see if they're interested and have them go through RCF University. The members that we have in here, why I really want y'all to do that is because Everyone in here now is, they know what the RCF is all about. We've had probably 25 to 30, maybe 35 members have come in here and have now since left. Um, they have not been able to keep a positive ACQ score. They, they did not check in every week or perhaps they didn't pay an invoice. Um, so for a number of different reasons, we have a much smaller RCF program, but you know, the one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven of you represent basically the cream of the crop of the entire industry. Now you can see these conversion rates and, and think that they're not stellar, but this doesn't include any of the referrals that you get, any of the warm traffic or inbound. This is all internet leads. So for like custom aids, we've been working on this for like four years, right? So we have a mix of uh, paid ads and organic. We, we've been working on SEO. We've been in Facebook groups. We've been putting out uh, really good content for a long time now. And so now in addition to our paid ads, we're getting inbound traffic. So we can scale back on the paid ads just a little bit and find that sweet spot of new client wins. Um, if you stick with us for a few years, your metrics, your ACQ is going to start to look like custom aids, basically. We, we, we start working on and investing in SEO to get your asset ranking in Google and ranking for the right keywords so that you get more leads. And those that come through Google typically will close better than a Facebook lead, but the sheer volume of Facebook leads is it's like it's unmatched. Um, it's really an unfair advantage when you can really figure out how to dial in your Facebook leads or your Facebook ad campaigns. So let's go update our few members. I've got custom aids already here. 90 days ago, February 16th, we've got 301 leads. Is that right? It is. 301, 143, 96. So everything, go, or nothing changes except opportunities. That helps a conversion rate by a percentage. Um, interesting. All right, let's go check out Dayton. We still stay in the, within or above 4,000 with Bay City. Um, so that's that's awesome as well. But the opportunities really don't affect as much. It's, it's delivering the estimates and, and winning your clients. So um, delivering estimates, you get 12 points worth. 
In winning, you get 25 points worth. But when you win, it also pulls down on the acquisition cost metric and whatnot. And that is all, um, I wish I could show you here real quick. Um, let's go to university.drcf.com. All right, let's see. Let me find that calculation. It is under the um, understanding ACQ, understanding the ACQ or whatever um, module. Right here, understanding ACQ. Okay. The ACQ, what it does, it takes your estimates and your wins. You get 12 points for an estimate, 25 points for a win. 12 times 37 is 444, 25 times 20 is 500. So you get a score of 944 here, all right? You're getting your estimates and wins. But now there are other metrics that matter. Um, ops to estimate. How efficient are you at getting estimates, official estimates delivered to the leads that we send you? Cost per acquisition. How much do we have to spend in order for you to win a new client? Estimates to one ratio. How many of your estimates, how many estimates do you need to deliver in order to win one new client? And then effort is the average of both. Um, these all multiply by negative three. This multiplies by negative five here in the effort. And then we get our, our negatives so we have our 944 minus 15 minus 450 minus 5.6 minus 17.1 gives us a 463.456.3. I literally skipped over that five. 456.3 here. The RCF is a little bit similar just on the uh, marketing campaign side of it. So we won't get into that right now. This just has to do with ACQ. And... In this example, I mean, we went from 311 to 301 and it didn't even change the ACQ. Whoops. 311, wait, it changed the ACQ. <laughs> it improved the ACQ by one point because the conversion rate went up by a percent. So kind of funny how it operates that way, but all right, here's uh, Gem City. We've got 374, 116, 25. RCF Dayton, Gem City. All right, Las Vegas. Let's see, hopefully we've got some estimates delivered overnight or since yesterday, I should say. Two fifty four, one thirteen. 113, uh-oh, and 12. Okay, okay. <laughs> 254, we've got them, we're, they're starting to fall off now. They're starting to fall off because we've been in the program for a little bit longer than 90 days. So the wins have to start being added here. Oliver, I don't know if you end up actually watching these, but last or a few weeks ago, I went in and marked five or four wins for you. Um, I had sent you a message letting you know I was doing that, but I won't, that, that's not what I normally do. It is uh, the member's responsibility to mark it as one. And if it doesn't, it doesn't show up on the ACQ score here. And it could end up being detrimental that way in terms of market area funding. Um, please be sure to remember and mark those as one so that we can keep a uh, good track of, of all of those. But we knew this day was coming. It was February 15th or 14th, I believe was the launch date. Let me see if I can come over and look or find it right here. February 16th was the launch date. So if we had three wins, you know, 90 days ago, they're now falling off. And um, one of those wins was the test lead. So now you see this 12 here. These are purely RCF Las Vegas metrics where before there was an estimate and a win that was like basically given credit as, as starting the account. All right, Reagan, let's see what we are doing over in Orlando today or how we did. 
yesterday, I should say, 261, 57, and 19. Oh, my word. <laughs> You're going to catch them if you keep doing that. And it's, it's only because, see, in, in this example, you have seven more wins than Las Vegas, but they have like 56 more estimates delivered than you do. Now, let's say you had the same amount of estimates delivered. You would be near, you would almost be number one. You would be within 130 points of, of number one. Uh, your ability to deliver an estimate like that's what would be would be carrying it. Um, so great job, terrific job, Orlando, Reagan, Cameron, absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's, I love watching the ACQs creep higher and higher. Um, all right, Riverside, Daniel, I did get your feedback. Um, you're going through a lot right now. Um. I did notice that the finder's fee that we're charging for is for a client that you weren't able to clean. They should not have been marked one. So we need to mark them, like undo that. Um, but that renders that invoice void, basically, um, until you actually get a payment from them. I know you didn't clean them due to some cleaner issues and, and being able to have them show up and whatnot, but, um, in order for me to do that, I do need to see notes. And if I go in here right now into my finder's fee pipeline under Christie, there's a finder's fee that's due and the last time there weren't any notes. I mean, I see you've left notes. Um, this was a lead from back in November. <laughs> um, you've left notes in terms of calling or getting it scheduled, but you've had three times or three visits where you haven't been able to go out and service them. And I think the client's getting pissed. Um, so this is not good whatsoever. Um, so that win would need to be taken away. Um, I'm going to, I'll send you a message and ask you about this one, but in this case, don't, don't mark them one until they've paid because it creates a problem here where you've gone to at risk because you've left your invoice go overdue and now it's well over a week. I know you have stuff going on, but no one has stuff going on in such a way that they are out for an entire week from the thing that feeds them. It doesn't knock, you would at least say, hey, I'm going through something right now, let me get back with you. Something as simple as that would buy you a month's worth of time. But if you just ghost us, it looks like you've fallen off. This feedback today helps. Um, I really appreciate you keeping me in the loop because we are investing into your company and I don't, it makes no sense for us to keep investing if, if, if you're not in a spot to, to convert those leads, um, right now. Um, not saying to intentionally throttle your account, but we can't have times of two weeks where we don't hear from you. Um, not, you're not in touch with us every day. And this is just clicking the link on the, the weekly check-in. If you get that notice on Sunday and you click that link and it says all clear, we will count that as, all right, we heard from them this week. They're good. Um, due, due to the nature of this program, it, it's, it's wildly different. We can't sit with you all day, every day, telling you what to do, how to do it and when to do it. Um, this has to come from you because we on our end are, have built it in, a, in such a way where we will not charge you until you win. But in order to do that, we cannot spend our time with you the way that we would be able to if we were charging, say, $2,000 a month. Um, all of our time is spent on the members who are taking this seriously and finding ways to get them more leads and, of course, finding new members as well. All right. Grand Rapids, I think you'll be the last one that would have any updates today. Just kidding. Indianapolis would. I took out our, our um, South Houston. This morning, they're out. Ozarks is out. All right. Grand Rapids is 113, 36, and 7. They stay the same. Indianapolis.
72, 20, and 4. All right. It's a short little update today because we have no one in here right now. <laughs> That's all right. The averages are going to scream um, because of RCF, RCF Houston falling off. Shoot, I mean. Yeah, so I kind of like cheated. The last two of three days we've taken someone off. So the last two times we've taken someone off, the ACQ has jumped 20%. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, but I'll take that win. The chart's going to go up higher here. And <laughs> it's solely because we have seven people in here. Although seven really good members. I mean, there was a time when, let me show you. When we had, I'm going to go back to like volume 10 of State of the RCF. And see what the scorecard was. So this is what the, the State of the RCF used to look like. It is so ugly. Okay, right here. This was agonizing. This was agonizing. CMC began to fall at this point. So let me, let's go to like five. CMC, that's what, that was my other custom aids brand that we tried to start in California. This didn't work. The person I was working with has a full-time job too. See, they were positive. They were positive. Dayton, CNBC, Dayton, CMC. Denver was right there. Myrtle Beach started to scream higher. Um, <laughs> Chicago, Nefetis, Jada, Greensboro. They were great. They just did not pay an invoice. Orlando. See, look at, look, or look, right in. This is when you had started and you rocketed all the way up. You came on with the first Minneapolis. All, a lot of these are no longer with us, but look at how many negative a thousands. Look at all these negatives here. We only have three ACQ positives with one of them being a member. Two of them were, were custom aids brands. And now exclude that we're at five, I think. Five, almost six. I know Mount Airy will get there. That's just gonna be a little bit of a delay. The members we, that we have in here right now are really solid and we're going to take our time finding others that resemble more like yourselves. Um, this is a lot of fun um, watching y'all's businesses because I know that I see these numbers here and they're only RCF. Dayton. Orlando, you three at the top, Dayton, Las Vegas, and Orlando. You've got 25 wins, 12 wins, 18 wins, only from RCF leads. So I know, I know that y'all are like doubling that. Like you guys are 40 or 50 new clients for Dayton in three months. I'd say 36, 30 to 36 for Las Vegas. Orlando, God, I don't even know because yours, you've been on such an upward trajectory. It feels like. You could have, you could be closing 18 a month, really, um, 20 a month. I, I mean, it, it's really, it's remarkable. It, it, this thing is tiny, but you guys are proving that it works. You're really proving that it works. And still, even a year, a year and a half into it, no one is really even full throttle. Dayton is not full throttle yet. Custom Aids is could be more. Um, it's just a little bit different because I can spend the, I, I, we can fund the market areas, get leads and get finders fees and get that 250. Bay City, it has to go through the process of them getting hired and then they're going to be cleaned and then we get only our, our percentage of the profit on top of it. So it's a little bit different um, how I go about it. So it's more controlled. But if I see a member that starts to skyrocket, we have a lot of focus on you. And I think if 
I go to Las Vegas, I do believe we started this one as well. Um, oops, is it resources? Maybe, maybe not for this one. Oh. It's learning. So we're adding, we only have five right now, but we add um, blog posts here to help target other keywords. So like this one, for example, it's best home cleaning companies in Las Vegas. A lot of great content here. And then right at the bottom, get an estimate or call now. So if we have, you know, thousands of these pages out there, Glenmo Home Services is going to show up anywhere and everywhere to someone who's looking for um, house cleaning services. We do the same thing for Dayton. We've got it for Orlando as well. Yours is resources though. I think I changed it after yours. Um, Dayton, we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 or more. Orlando, I think yours is learning as well. Three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of content for um, the Orlando page as well. Up, and, and we still we continue with this. We don't stop. So as long as you're keeping this positive, you're gonna get more leads. Um, so today's did I go over it? I was state of the RCF went out yesterday. Uh, member of the week, none, none other than RCF Orlando. You've been crushing it, Reagan. Keep going. The rest of you, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great Thursday. Great rest of your week.